Hey everybody, it's Edie and welcome to Mixed Mediology Monday. Today's project, dude, oh my god. Okay, so, if you remember the last video, the video for the Charm Spellbook Replica, I told you how I went to Autumn Fest and I got some custom orders. One of the custom orders that I got was from a client who wanted to give her cousin, who is a photographer, a piece of, of photography art for Christmas, okay? Um, so I happen to have this vintage Kodak camera. It's like a 1945 uh, Kodak camera. And so I sent her a photo of the camera and she said, yes, that'd be great. So I altered my little Kodak camera steampunk. And this is what she is going to give her cousin for Christmas. So, here is the finished piece. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So I had the camera, right, and it was just a plain little boring brown, not boring, vintage, gorgeous, obviously, but no style, no personality. It was a regular brown and silver Kodak camera. I painted it, I hand poured all these resin pieces for the gears and stuff. Um, I distressed it, I made this look like metal with the, the paint and the heat gun and the texture and the, oh my god! It looks like some sort of copper pipe. Speaking of copper pipes, see these little pipes? I made those out of straws. Oh my god, I love this project so much. <laughs> so, all of the resin pieces are hand poured, hand painted, handmade, all that good stuff. Um, added all the little embellishments to it. I aged down the silver because this was really bright, shiny silver and then so I aged all that down, put in the flash bulb, did all these awesome things to it, right? That's not even the best part. So the my client, my customer, ordered this for her cousin. Well their dads are brothers. And so I had her send me a picture that was sentimental or special to her cousin. So she sent me a picture of her dad and her cousin's dad and then two kids in the center. And I'm assuming, I forgot to ask her, but I'm assuming that the two kids are each of their kids. So it's the two dads and then the two kids of the cousins. And I was able to, but I had the camera taken apart. And inside here, you used to have to look down into the, the lens here and you would see straight out of this, of, of what you were taking. So I slipped that picture, I cropped it, I aged it, I made it look like a vintage photo and then I slipped it in there so when you look inside here I know you can't see it on the video oh maybe you can that picture is actually in there so every time she looks down in here she's gonna see like she's taking that photo of the the two brothers and the two kids so oh, I love this I love it I love this so yeah, that is how the steampunk camera came to be. So I actually lifted the little, this is supposed to close down, but I actually opened it and I've got the gears and stuff all inside. I've got stuff here all on the back side. So this doesn't close anymore because I wanted that photo to always be right there visible. So steampunk camera is complete. Oh my gosh. I think I'm actually going to submit this for publishing. Because the last thing I submitted that was steampunk was the steampunk shoes. It, you see them? They're right there on the shelf. I think you remember. If not, go back. There's a video for that. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to submit this. I love this camera. I like it better than the shoes. And you know how much I love the shoes? The steampunk shoes? Yeah. Steampunk shoes are actually wearable. And I swear if they were my size, I would totally wear them. But they're only a size 6. So... Whoever they end up going to could actually wear them, or they can just be a piece of art. This, this precious little gem right here, sentimental. 
Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to submit this for publication. Okay, I think that's all of the talking for today. If you have any questions about anything you see me do here, leave it in the comment section below because, you know, I love questions and I love comments, so I will respond back. Um, yeah, I'm just really proud of this. <laughs> can you tell? Like, I, I can't even really talk about it. I have no words. I just, I'm really proud and I love it. That's it. That's it. Proud, love, that's it. <laughs> okay, that is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. If you like what I do, if you like seeing all of these projects, then don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Then share it, tell your friends about it. That way they can hang out with us too. Remember, if you would like to order a piece of custom artwork, whether it's a altered art, painting, book, whatever, email me at mixedmediology at gmail.com. And yeah, you can find me all over the place. I'm on Pinterest a lot, Facebook a lot, Instagram not so much, Twitter never, but I'm on there. Um, yeah, hear YouTube, Google me. Like, dude, I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm easy to find. So yeah, follow me in those places and I will follow you back. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. That way they can hang out with us too. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye! Yes! One take!
god, I'm still delirious from the last video. So I'm actually recording two videos back to back. Well, the talking part of two videos back to back. So rather than changing my clothes, I'm just going to put on a scarf and pretend like it's a different day. <laughs> I'm delirious from the last video. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so maybe people will think, well, if I hadn't said this, they would have thought it was a different day. Here we go. Does this look stupid? It does. I got the freaking tag showing. 